So I've got an engineer here now, Steve, and he's come to take a look at my starter motor. God, it's like something about Mary. Good morning everyone, I'm still in Penkridge but it's actually only a five day mooring that I'm on so I am going to need to move the boat. I've just driven the camper van, my little camper, all the way down about three miles and walked all the way back with little Bonnie. She's absolutely exhausted. And I'm going to take the boat down a couple of locks and moor right by the van. This will make things a lot easier because Bonnie's got the vets this week. So if you're new here, Bonnie is my new little rescue dog. I've only had her a couple of weeks now and she's an absolute delight. However, she's not really used to being outside so everything's new to her. So I've just been here now doing all my engine checks and I've had a knock on my boat and it's a guy called Matt and he's brought me a present. Rumbles! Mm. Mm. Well, your balls taste lovely, love. First time I've been told that. <laughs> so, fueled up on rum balls, it was time to start the engine and head off. And we're off. So, yeah, let's just hope it doesn't rain. I'm not wearing my boaty clothes. I normally wear boating pants, like walking pants. I've got my jeans on at the moment, which is not ideal. So I was very lucky on that first lock. One of my boating friends came up to help me down it. So it was just perfect timing. But I'm just going to stop here before the next lock because of some services and I need to fill up with water and empty all my rubbish. So I'm just at the water point, I've just tapped a bit of a leaky one, it's a proper little gusher. Yeah, we've got three locks to do now. I hate wearing what I'm wearing. I have a thing about clothes I do. And I always wear walking pants, walking trousers, you know, I get them from Aldi or Mountain Warehouse. And they're all in the wash, I've got five pairs. <laughs> they all got covered in mud, it's walking little bonnie. So I'm wearing jeans and I hate wearing jeans, they make me feel really uncomfortable. I don't mind them for like a night out, but I hate wearing them to do any activity. Well, not activity, but you know what I mean. Yes, I feel really uncomfortable today. <laughs> yeah, but do you have sort of clothes that you have for certain things? Like, so I have my boating clothes, and then I have my going out clothes, and sometimes I wear my going out jacket when I'm boating, and then it gets all covered in lotches. Yeah, so I just... You have to be sort of organised like this and you have to be when you live on a boat because you don't want your good clothes getting covered in mud and stuff. Anyway, we've only got three locks to do now and I've got the washing machine on so hopefully my boat and trousers will be done and clean, ready for tomorrow. <laughs> I'm really lucky today. This young gentleman here is just helping me finish the lock whilst they're filling up with water on that boat. Oh, I didn't even ask, they just offered. See, it is all about the kindness. It's just a beautiful community, the boating community. Oh. Back to clothing, <laughs> just at that lock then, that lock was so leaky that I've soaked my jeans and there's nothing worse than wet jeans is there? Oh, they're horrible! And because of that lock I now look like I've wet myself. Thank you. 
up to this next lock now and uh, I want to show you this. I got this from Damien at the Crick Boat Show. He made it for me and it's made out of stainless steel so it's quite light but if I drop it in the cut I'm buggered because I won't be able to get that out with a magnet. But yeah, it's been brilliant. down in a lock I always try to if I remember throw the rope the side that's got the ladder and then you can pull the boat back or forward so you can get back on it <laughs> sometimes I throw the rope the opposite side and the ladder's this side and it's the right side yeah I remember this time Again, I was just dead lucky because a walker there, I think they're a boater, just said, don't worry love, get on your boat, I'll shut the gates for you. So I was able to climb down the ladder, get on my boat and come out so I'm not having to faff shut my gates. Oh, so that's a, that's a time saver that, just shutting the gates. And still the canal is going alongside this motorway, but I would rather be here dawdling along than racing along with them. So it's very magical cruising through these woods. But I think I've only got one lock now and then I'll be at Polly. Yeah, the van, <laughs> called a Polly, yeah, like a parrot. And then I'll be able to take Bonnie to be spayed. Yeah, I don't want to walk him far when she's had a big operation like that, bless her. No, so it just make it quite handy. So I'm really glad I got that van. Plus loads of adventures to be had. So this is the last lock, so I'm hoping now that I can moor at the bottom and it's not too shallow. Oh. We call this bumming the lock. So this might take me a while because there's only one paddle working which means the lock's going to take double the time to fill. Wow this really is a stiff one. Yeah some of these lock gates are so heavy they really are.
discovered already in lodges and we're going out clothes or we're going out jeans how good that is it so i'm just shutting these gates now hey it's pretty low <laughs> don't climb up the ladders oh my goodness they took my face off yes yeah, so i'm just showing these now and this is the last lock i've got a little poly down there and i'm just gonna moor up oh that's a stiff one So, oh, so that's the last one, but look, I'm covered in lock chism. Let me show you. God, it's like something about Mary. Yeah, I'm caked in it. That's why I only ever do boating in me boaty pants. Yeah, from Aldi or whatever, my little walking trousers. But look at this, I'm just gonna move my boat just off the lot landing. And then we'll get our gorgeous baby out for a little walk. So now trying to work out how to navigate this massive bush. Yeah, quite overgrown. Let's just dive in. Whee! So I've just got back with Little Bonnie now. It's a fantastic little location, but it is quite near the road, which is quite noisy. But the van's right next to the boat and there's a fantastic little chandlery just back over the bridge there and it sells everything. It's even got ice creams. So this will do now for a few days. it's low in here it's so low in this boatsman's cabin it's because i've got a huge shaft that runs along the floor so the floor's risen but anyway today a guy called steve an engineer is coming out to look at my starter motor at last yeah it's just been a bit complicated trying to get it done when you're on the move and you've got to be places and banging it with a hammer has been working but he's going to come today have a look maybe it just needs cleaning or if it does need sending off then he'll send it off <laughs> Steve doing a little bit of uh, faffing yeah taking off the old starter motor it's a big one wow big one isn't it so that's it the starter motor is now gone with Steve so I don't know how long that's going to be so I can't start the engine now but luckily we've got quite a bit of solar so it should be all right well, that's just fingers crossed it's not going to be too expensive. So I was just taking little Bonnie out for a little bit of a pee pee and they were stopped by a lovely lady called Kate and she's giving me an amazing bottle of Sailor Jerry's. <laughs> so you're going to drink that then? I'll let you finish it all. <laughs> Are you drinking yours? No, you can have that. <laughs> so is it Sonia? Sonia, yeah. This is Sonia and little Bonnie's getting a massive force. Oh, <laughs> she's lovely. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to have a party now. <sighs> so it was really lovely catching up with fellow boaters and friends on the towpath and we used a little rum to wet the lips. <laughs> Good morning everyone, it's quite early. Bonnie's being spayed today, 
So this is one of the main reasons why I wanted my van near my boat so she doesn't have to walk far. Bless her. Oh, she doesn't know what's coming. She thinks we're going off on an adventure. Oh, she'll be hating me later. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to drive to Stoke now and um, take her to the vets. Then I'm going to just sit in my van and do some work. Bonnie. Hey, do you like it at the vets, do you? <laughs> so that's Bonnie in the vets now, and I'm off now to get a coffee or something. Oh, I hate leaving her. My little girl. They took her in at 10 o'clock this morning, and she was meant to be ready by two, but she's still not ready. She's still under general anaesthetic. So I'll be picking her up at six. But I've been able to sit in my van, I've been working, I've been editing, I've been doing badge designs, I've been making a brew, go for a wee. I can do everything. I absolutely adore this van, it's been brilliant. So it's now 20 past four, so I'll be picking her up about six. I just hope she's all right. I'll keep the boat where I am, I'll keep the van with me for at least a week so that if there's any problems, I can take her back to the vets. And then once Bonnie's all recovered, I'll take the van back to my parents' drive. Yeah, I always worry having the van with me in case I get my back door smashed in. Oh. Honey, oh baby, look at you, beautiful. Hello, baby. Oh my little girl, come here. Oh. Go in there, sweetheart. Good girl. Oh, Bonnie. Oh, my little girl. We've got to go back in three days, so it's a good job I've got the van. So coming back in three days, and then again in another seven days, so she's got two health checks now. Oh, that's pretty evasive surgery. Oh. She's not had the best start in life, this little girl. She really hasn't. And we're going to go back now, go back to the boat and spoil her rotten. So once we got back to the boat, Bonnie was very groggy, so she did a lot of sleeping and resting. And the vet told me not to take her on any big walks, just take her outside just when she needs the toilet. And for her to get as much rest as possible so that she heals quickly. So Bonnie's been spayed, she's been fixed, so no more babies for little Bonnie now. And well, hopefully those nipples will go down a bit. <laughs> but she's well on the mend, she's doing really, really well. She's doing fantastic. So I'm gonna pour a massive shot of this. This is the Bundaberg rum that I got from Debs. And then I'm gonna take you in the rear entrance. So I've took you in the rear entrance and I've left little Bonnie on the sofa. Yeah, she's still healing, but she's doing really, really well. So don't worry. She's just sleeping a lot because obviously a lot of bodies had a big gash and it's got stitches. So she's just healing, but she's very good in herself still. She's very playful and she's very happy. So I've heard so many good things about this. So let's give it a try. Ooh, hey, <laughs> it makes my lips tingle top ones hey that that's lovely that is <coughs> it's a good one thank you very much cheers oh anyway on with, with the ditty this one is from Anne and it goes a little something like this Bonnie and Heidi a right motley crew pirates on the waterways a harmy hearties tis true 
Swigging rum to wet the lips keeps everything warm, including the nips. While reading verses in her rear entry, Rosie and Jim are posing plenty. Just as well they aren't in the nude, you have to warn them, don't be rude! <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. So thank you so much, Anne. Let's have another drink. <laughs> I don't normally drink me, but we'll have another one, eh? Because it's, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy week, so cheers. And whilst I am drinking this, sorry, I just want to say a massive shout out to this week's Pirate Crew. Thank you so much for everything you do. It means the world for me. So cheers. Woohoo! Lovely that, it's gorgeous. Anyway, I'm going to leave the video there for this week. If you have enjoyed it, please give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already, absolutely free. But before I go, a big shout out to my Patreons. They do everything for me, they work behind the scenes, they get early access so they can check the videos through for me. Yeah, so thank you so much to the Patreons. Anyway, that's it guys. Please stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next week. <laughs>